morning. I see the live button. <laughs> there it is. Good morning. Good morning. How are you folks? We'll wait just a second for folks to get together. If you um, if you've been following us, uh, not this past week we didn't do any evening prayer, but for the two or three weeks before that, we're doing evening prayer and we had a liturgy every day. Um, starting today, we're going to do morning prayer at 10 o'clock Monday through Thursday. And we'll do Friday too if there's somebody that's willing to lead it. Um, uh, Jody and I will lead Monday through Thursday. and We'll be using a prayer book. So if you need a, if you need a prayer book, <laughs> then um, let us know and we can get you one. We can either grab one from uh, one of the churches or we can have one shipped to you. So. Mm -hmm. We want you to be able to use that prayer book um, however you can. Throughout so. this shelter in place. Yep. And beyond. Yeah. <laughs> so of course. Um, we'll start on page 77. So if you want to turn to page 77, and then we'll take maybe 20 seconds to breathe deeply and to, um, and to get ready. So I'll have a drink of coffee before we start. Mm -hmm. There's also apps available for morning prayer. Um, the one that we go to most often is Mission St. Clair. You can find it in Play Store or in your Apple um, store. That's where we'll get the readings um, for today, mm -hmm. but I'll, uh, I'll let you know where they are. You can also use Oremus, um, which is um, a fantastic resource where you use the Bible. Good old fashioned Bible. And RSV, so. <clears throat> All right, we'll get started. Page 77. Okay. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We'll omit the um, confession during Easter. We'll turn to page 80. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat> There's a call and response at this um, at this part called the invitatory, I think. Uh, so I'll say the first um, phrase over there says, from Easter day until ascension. It starts with Alleluia. I'll do that first section, that first uh, up to the colon, and then you respond with the second half. Um, then we'll read the Venite, and then we'll go back to the same phrase. So. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. I think we need to do the Venite. This Christ, our Passover, says is only for the first few weeks. Oh, okay. So we'll say the Venite together. <clears throat> together come let us sing to the lord let, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms for the lord is a great god and a great king above all gods in his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also the sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Today is uh, Psalm 1, page 585. I'll give you a second to find that. Of course, in the back of the prayer book is uh, are the Psalms. There's only six verses, so we'll say them responsively. I'll say the odd verses, and you can say the even verses. <clears throat> Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, 
and they meditate on his law day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chaff, which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand upright when judgment comes, nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked is doomed. I'm going to turn back to page 84, <clears throat> and at the top we'll say that next part together. Glory to the Father, and, and to, to the Son, and, and to, to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Our first lesson comes from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 1 through 12. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who have been chosen and destined by God the Father and sanctified by the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and to be sprinkled with his blood, may grace and peace be yours in abundance. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth in a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold, that, though perishable, is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ re is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable, indescribable and glorious joy, <clears throat> for you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Concerning this salvation, the prophets who prophesied of the grace that was to be yours made careful search and inquiry, inquiring about the person or time that the Spirit of Christ within them indicated, when it testified in advance to the sufferings destined for Christ and the subsequent glory. It was revealed to them that they were not serving, that they were serving not themselves, but you in regard to the things that have now been announced to you through those who brought you the <clears throat> good news by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll respond with Canticle 19, which is found on page 94, Song of the Redeemed. And we'll say this together. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King, King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our next reading is from the Gospel of John, <clears throat> chapter 14, verses 1 through 17. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. 
No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am the Father and the Father I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in the name, if in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you and he will be in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. And we'll respond with the Apostles' Creed found on page 96. And we'll say that together. 96. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. We'll pray the Lord's Prayer on the left, in the left-hand column. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. This suffrage is A. Responsibly, I'll say the first school, you'll say the response. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. This is the collect of the day, the, the second Sunday of Easter, so it'll be the, fo the following week. Page 224 is where you find the collects. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal Mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Um, we'll say collect for peace, page 99. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, and all assaults of our enemies that we surely trusting in your defense. May not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And then 
Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. You can put your intercessions and prayers of thanksgiving and petition in the comment box. We have a few from the Service for Administration to the Sick for those who are uh, find themselves stuck at home or facing medical needs. This is for someone who's sick. O Father of mercies and God of all comfort, our only help in time of need, we humbly pray you to hold, visit, and relieve your sick servant for whom our prayers are desired. Look upon them with your eyes of mercy, comfort them with a sense of your goodness, preserve them from the temptations of the enemy, and give them patience under their affliction. In your good time, restore them to health and enable them to lead the residue of their life in your fear and in your glory, and grant that finally they may dwell with you in life everlasting through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. This is a prayer for doctors and nurses. What page? Uh, page 460. Sanctify, O Lord, those whom you have called to the study and practice of the arts of healing and to the preservation of disease and pain. Strengthen them by your life-giving spirit and by their ministries, the health of the community may be promoted and your creation glorified. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And this is for the morning on page 461. This is another day, O Lord. I do not know what it will bring forth, but make me ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If I am to stand, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me to do it patiently. And if I am doing nothing, let me do it gallantly. Make these words more than words, and give me the spirit of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Back to page 101. If you have other prayers or um, thanksgivings that you want to type in the box, feel free to do so, Jody. And I like to see those, and we'll say prayers. It's not like our prayers are magic, but um, uh, sometimes people find that useful also to put that down. Yeah. So um, we'll say the general thanksgiving together on page 101. Almighty God, Father, Father of all mercies, mercies we, your unworthy servants, give you, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And then we'll say the prayer of Chrysostom together on page 102. <clears throat> Our theology professor used to always say this prayer, uh, I think at the end of every before, class period. Before. Oh, yeah, and before his, so, part of it before his sermons, Tony. <laughs> he always had an extra long dramatic pause at the end. <laughs> Almighty God, you, you have, have given, given us grace at this time with, with one, one accord to make, make our common supplication to you. And, and you, you have promised through your well-beloved well son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen.
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. We hope you have a great day today. It looks like it's beautiful out. We're going to um, use the chainsaw today and cut up some wood because tomorrow I'm going to smoke a brisket. I was supposed to do it today, but I didn't have the wood for it. So that we learned in seminary get better with that's time. That's right, that's right. <laughs> but we're going to just have a great day, and we've got a bunch of emails and stuff to take care of um, as usual. But um, Stay yeah. home, yes. stay safe. Yeah, if you need anything, call us. We've got people who can run errands. We can run errands. Um, uh, you're loved. Be salt and light. We'll see you tomorrow.